Beware of illegal video cassettes. Check whether this video cassette carries a genuine label hologram. Video piracy is a crime. Do not accept it. Demand a genuine cassette from your video store. Poor quality illegal video cassettes reduce your viewing pleasure and jeopardize future film production. When in doubt, telephone the Federation Against Copyright Theft, FACT, on 0181 568 6646, or in the case of the Republic of Ireland, 01 6777 071. And if the rest of your thesis is as intelligent as you are, you are certain to graduate with honors. And that will be the beginning of a brilliant career. In the ivy-covered halls of Harvard, Montgomery Kessler was at the top of his class. Harvard doesn't have any standards left. They let in anyone who's bright. But all it took was one little slip. This isn't just on term paper, you know. This is my life. To bring him face to face. No! with reality. Don't burn any more pages. You want something? I need something. For each night's lodging, one page. There are 88 pages in that thesis. There are 83 pages. Ow. You're unbelievable. If you really hit my thesis somewhere, he'll get it tonight. I'll talk him in and give me the whole thing. Monty! You've done a great job of talking into things so far. He's wearing my robe. Okay, if that's how you feel about it, don't let me catch you wearing any of my things. I have a plan. I'm taking him to Social Security. I'm going to get him disability benefits, all right? D.O.B. E-F-G-H-I-J. Do you have evidence of birth? I'm sitting here, ain't I, lady? What do you think I have? My spontaneous combustion? Ah! You still don't think I'm human, do you? Let me show you my life. Warner Brothers presents Joe Pesci as a scholar of the streets. Are you a student in this class? No, I'm a bum. But bear in mind, I'm a Harvard bum. Who gives four students a reason to open their hearts. If a woman is willing to give you her love, it's the greatest gift in the world and their minds to love free to feed the remainder of life with one hour of fullness and freedom one brief hour of madness and joy joe pesci brendan fraser moira kelly with honors i know once we got to know each other we'd hit it off famously Come in. You asked me, Chief? I need somebody for chaser duty. Chaser duty? Yeoman second class, Fast Eddie DeVay, and Chief Petty Officer Rock Riley. The only reason you're here is because Navy regulations require two people to transport a prisoner. Are about to begin the most dangerous mission of their career. So they just send the two of you for this prisoner? Johnson, seven to ten. I gotta make sure I dot all the I's. Bring up Johnson! But when headquarters gave them this detail. You're one hellacious piece of manpower. They left out one small detail. Excuse me, if I may, I, uh, I have to use the bathroom. Oh yeah, sure, we can pull off up here. Why don't we just make her a pitcher of iced tea while we're at it? Are you sure about this stuff? She's gone! Hold right there, Captain! Help, please, they're trying to kill me! It was supposed to be a routine prisoner transfer. Oh. You boys just want a 10 over this circus. God. Now either you follow me or I'll shoot you for mutiny. Want another shortcut? But she is no routine prisoner. Tony! And she's gone. Howdy, ma'am. Just go. Yes, ma'am. Tom Berenger, Erica Aleniak, William McNamara, Gary Busey, in a film by Dennis Hopper. What are you doing? Tony! I gotta admit, she's good. Chasers, the ultimate detour of duty. There's never enough time. No time to stop and think. What have I learned? Yeah! <laughs> Try to stay in control. It's not as easy as it sounds. 
the same for everyone? We're all doing this to one another, this bickering and mocking. Shouldn't it be better than this? We're all in it together, making the same mistakes, getting into the same jams, having lousy Fridays over and over and over and over. For Hector. Hector! Hector! Hector. Dunya. History has a way of repeating itself. I used to know how to do this. I was really good at this. He was a victim of circumstance. You're my closest, my dearest slave. I'm asking you to die with me. No. No. <laughs> God, no. A prisoner of love. You must keep out of the way of temptation. You're not a sinning fella. <laughs> you want me to stay, don't you? And a slave to fashion. I'm asking for my freedom. You really think you're going to walk out of here? I've got to go to my home. Through all the ages he's lived, of all the people he's been. Well, here he is, the invisible dad. Am I going the Ferris wheel? Makes me sick. How do you land these things? The one thing he's discovered is that the best part of being alive <laughs> is just being human. I told you, Dad. This is as good as it gets. This might be the best moment of your life. How much better do you want it? <laughs> How much? From Bill Forsyth, the director of Local Hero, Robin Williams, in the performance of several lifetimes. Being human. Oh, it's been some day. Everything happened. This is my neighborhood. The local store. Come on, kid, I ain't got all day. The local bully. Wanna play kill? And this is my house. <laughs> I've got the world's greatest parents. Welcome to hell! The world's goofiest brother. Randy! The world's smartest dog. And the world's most disgusting neighbors. <laughs> this is war! It's a really cool place. Go, soldier, go! <laughs> Unbelievable. And you'll meet them all. When I tell you all about... Must be a good kid. Yeah, he's okay. My Summer Story. I'll, I'll see your bet, and uh, I'll call. I'm running low on chips here. Too bad I saw the queen. Oh, lucky thing for me, I had three sixes. Looks like you broke your losing streak. Nice spot. I don't see what's so great about it. Whoa, hey, where's the fire, son? <laughs> I'm a gambler. You're a gunfighter. The fact of the matter is, if I'd have tried to face you down, I mean, what chance would I have had? Absolute zero. None, whatever. Was that fast? Coming soon. I thought that was fast. Yes, was it fast? Want to see it again? <laughs> Mel Gibson. Damn thing won't stay in the holster. <laughs> Jodie Foster. A silly looking creature's called Maverick, and, and my name is Annabelle Bransford. I'll be taking the stage. Well, so am I. So am I. James Garner. You can relax and enjoy the journey now. Maverick. Don't worry. Nothing to worry about. I got it all under control. Yeah, well, I remember my first runaway stage. From Richard Donner, the director of the Lethal Weapon series. <laughs> Don't you think you should go out there and help him? Well, I could do that, absolutely, but, you know, after he's worked so hard, he might resent it. With a little luck, Maverick will be here soon. Dealer's choice? Okay, we five cards tied by... No, I think I prefer draw. <laughs> you gotta learn to loosen up, kid. Have some fun. This is poker. I've done my share. We all have. We ain't gonna win this war. I've led a soldier's life. I've never seen anything as brutally clear as this. This town is of no military significance whatsoever, General. If we hold this raid for a couple of hours, we can keep them away. Well, the boys are ready for a brawl, no doubt of that. I left my spectacles over there. What is the name of this town? If you're gonna fight alongside us, there's a few things I want you to know. This regiment was formed last summer. There were a thousand of us then. There are less than 300 of us now. They were farmers and school teachers. We are an army out to set other men free. Gentlemen 
and laborers. Virginia is not about to let itself be ruled by some president in Washington. Those boys in blue, they never quite seem the enemy. I know. They came from Maine and Texas. We cannot retreat. We cannot withdraw. From New York and Virginia. No 15,000 men ever made can take that bridge. This war goes on and on, and the price gets ever higher. I want this to be the final battle. A conflict that turned neighbor against neighbor. Old friends off the war. Friend against friend. See in hell, Billy Yank. See in hell, Johnny Red. Fate made them soldiers. War made them brothers. Courage made them heroes. Gettysburg, based on the Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Killer Angels. And does it matter after all who wins? Was that ever really the question? When you rent or buy a video, you need to know that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you understand what the film is like, you can look at the certificate it has been given. This film has been classified as 12. That means this film is unsuitable for anyone younger than 12. A film with a 12 certificate may contain stronger moments of violence or references to sexual experience. There may also be swear words that you wouldn't find in a PG film. It is an offence to supply a video classified 12 to anyone below that age. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make the right choice. Thanks for listening.